So if you've got a high ACoS across your PPC campaigns at the moment, you've come to the right place because in this video, I'm gonna show you how to properly optimize your Amazon PPC campaigns to bring down that ACoS, but at the same time, increase your sales. So without further ado, let's get straight into it. Okay guys, so what you'll tend to find, and this is probably what you're experiencing at the moment, is that new Amazon PPC campaigns don't tend to perform particularly well straight off the mark. So when I say don't perform well, I don't mean that they're not getting sales, but I mean that the A course tends to be quite high. And that's totally normal. And the reason for that is that what you tend to find with new PPC campaigns is they're quite broad before you optimize them. And certain areas of your campaigns will perform really well for your product and other areas will perform really badly for your product. So what we're trying to do when we optimize these campaigns is locate, discover those areas that are performing badly for your product, reduce or stop spending any of the ad spend on those before poorly performing areas. And then therefore, as a result, laser focus that ad spend on the highly performing areas, therefore bringing down your ACoS, making your campaign spend more efficient and also increasing your sales as a result. Now, when it comes to actually doing this optimization, there's really three main techniques that you wanna use. And I'm gonna teach you exactly how to do all three in this tutorial. So the first is search term optimization. The second is placement optimization. And the third and final technique is called keyword bid optimization. So let's firstly talk about search term optimization. So when it comes to search term optimization, you can actually use this for any campaign type apart from exact match keyword campaigns. And I'll explain why in just a minute. But before I actually show you how to do this optimization strategy, what I need to explain is really the difference between keywords and search terms and how match types work. So when you were setting up your PPC campaigns, you were adding keywords to those manual keyword campaigns. You would have been asked by Amazon whether you want to add that keyword in exact match, phrase match, or broad match. Now, if you added the keyword in exact match form, then that key, that campaign or that keyword in that campaign is only going to target that exact search term. So let's say that you added the keyword laptop stand in exact match form, then your ad is only going to show up when someone exactly searches laptop stand. If they search blue laptop stand, your ad won't show up. However, if you instead added that keyword in broad or phrase match form, then that keyword is now going to target loads of different search terms. So even if the customer searches blue laptop stand, metal laptop stand, black aluminum laptop stand, your ad will show up on all of those different search terms because your keyword is in phrase and broad match. Now, if you wanna learn more about this, we don't have time to go into it in that much detail in this video, but if you wanna learn more about this, watch this video that I put out recently here, which I'll just link to up here and down in the description. Now, when we're doing search term optimization, we're not looking at the keyword, we're ignoring the keyword, and instead we're looking at the search terms. And what we're trying to do is identify the poorly performing search terms in your campaign and remove those from the campaign. And this is something you want to do before you do any keyword bid optimization. And here's why. So let's say that you're targeting the keyword laptop stand in broad match form. And let's say that that keyword has a 50% ACoS and your target ACoS is 30%. You may think to bring down the ACoS, the best way to go about this is just reduce the keyword bid. But here's the reason why you don't want to do that. So let's say the keyword ACoS is 50% what you will find is that it's made up of a bunch of different search terms that all have different ACOSs. So in this example, the keyword laptop stand may be targeting three search terms, for example. Search term one may have an ACOS of 100%, search term two might have an ACOS of 30%, and search term three might have an ACOS of 20%. Together, they average a 50% ACOS, but what we can clearly see is that that high ACoS is really being driven by one poorly performing search term. The other two search terms are actually within or under our target ACoS. So by reducing the bid on that keyword, all you would be doing is actually reducing the bid across all of those search terms, the poorly performing one, which is great, but also the highly performing ones, which is not ideal. So before you do any keyword bid optimization, what you actually wanna do is search term optimization. So you wanna identify those poorly performing search terms. In this example, it'd be the one with 100% ACoS, remove that from the campaign. And just by doing that, you will actually find that the ACoS for, at the keyword level is gonna reduce a lot. And by doing this, you remove the poorly performing search terms without reducing the bid on the highly performing search terms. Okay guys, so now that I've talked to you through the theory behind this technique, let me actually show you how to practically do it. So once you're in uh, your campaign manager, you wanna click into a campaign and then you wanna click into the ad group level. Once you're in the ad group level, then on the left-hand side here, you wanna click on search terms. And then what this is gonna do is it's gonna 
gonna show us all of the search terms that our campaign has targeted that has got clicks over the certain time period that we're looking at. So in terms of date range here, what I'd recommend selecting is just since the last time, your last optimization round. So I'll leave this at a week for now, but it can be a week, it can be two weeks. We'll talk about timeline um, a little bit later in the video. Once you selected your timeline, you then wanna add some filters. So the first filter you wanna add is ACOS. So we'll click on ACOS and then we wanna select greater than and then here you want to add in your target ACOS plus 50%. So let's say your target ACOS is 30%. Here we would add 45 and then click apply. What this is then gonna do is it's gonna show us all of the search terms that are performing badly for this campaign where the ACOS is much higher than our target. We do then however wanna add a second filter before you start removing these from the campaign and that is for orders. So if we click filter by, and then click on orders and then we want to select greater than or equal to and we're going to select two and then what this is going to do is it means it's going to basically filter out any of the search results that only have one order or less and the reason why you want to do that is because if a, if, a, if a search term only has one order, the data is not particularly reliable, right? Yes, it might have a high ACOS, but it's only probably had a few clicks and only one sale. You can't make a decision based on just one sale. The more sales a search term has, the more accurate the ACOS is gonna be. If a search term has five sales and it still has a really high ACOS, we can really confidently trust that data and say it needs to be removed from the campaign. So as you can see here, I have four keywords. I have an ACOS that is 45% or higher. And what you can actually interestingly see is that the conversion rate actually basically kind of goes down as the ACOS goes higher, which is typically what you find. The lower the conversion rate for a search term, the higher number of clicks it takes to get a sale and therefore the higher the ACOS is because it's PPC pay-per-click, right? So what you then want to do is once you have these search terms, is you just select them all here, then click add as negative keyword. You'll then be asked whether you wanna add these as negative exact or negative phrase. You wanna select negative exact because we only wanna stop the campaigns targeting this exact search term, not all the different variations of it. And then you can click add negative keyword. Now there's also one other thing that I'd recommend doing here because doing what we just did, you're actually missing a group of poorly performing search terms. And that's because we're using ACOS as a filter and a search term can only have an ACOS if it's got sales. So what about those search terms that are getting lots of clicks but no sales, we're actually missing those. So we also need to find those and remove those from the campaign. So we wanna come back to the filters and again, click on orders. We then wanna select equals and select zero and click apply. You then wanna add a second filter for clicks and you can be greater than either 10 to 20. It depends on what your conversion rate for your product is. If you have a high advertising conversion rate, your product has a high conversion rate, then you might want to set this at only around 10 clicks. If your product has a lower conversion rate, then you might wanna set this closer to the 20 clicks. For this purpose, I'm just gonna select uh, 10 clicks and then click apply. So luckily for me, over the last 65 days, there isn't a single search term in this campaign that has over 10 clicks and zero orders. And that's because this campaign has been running for a long time. It's really well optimized. The ACOS is about 22% in this campaign. However, for you guys, if it's a campaign that's not particularly well optimized, you will have search terms that show up here most likely. So again, you can remove those from your campaign in the exact way you did with the other ones. Okay guys, so once you've done your search term optimization, the second optimization strategy that you wanna use is something called placement optimization. And again, you wanna do this before you do your keyword bid optimization. Now, before I show you actually how to do this, something that's really Really important to understand is that when you target a keyword in a manual keyword targeting campaign that keyword will not only target and show your ads in the search results it will also target and show your ads on ASINs on product detail pages a lot of people don't know this but that's actually the way that it works and there's really no way to avoid this happening and Amazon calls these placements and they break down these placements into three separate placements top of search rest of search and product pages. And what you can actually do is you can actually see the performance metrics for your product in these campaigns broken down by these three placements. And why this is really helpful is we can see which placements are performing well for our product, which placements are performing badly, and we can do the same type of optimization. So using that same example that I used earlier, let's say that you're targeting the keyword laptop stand and it has a 50% ACOS. What you might find is that the top of search placement has a 20% ACOS, the rest of search placement has a 30% ACOS, but the product pages placement has a 100% ACOS. If you were just to reduce the bid on that keyword, you would be reducing the bid across all of those placements, the poorly performing placements and the highly performing placements. So instead, what we want to try and do is be a little bit more granular with our approach. 
and in a targeted way actually reduce our spend, reduce the bid on the poorly performing placements while keeping the bid the same or increasing the bid on the highly performing placements. Okay, so once you're in your campaign manager, to be able to do this, what you wanna do is click into your campaign. Don't go into ad group level this time, just stay at campaign level. And then on the left-hand side, you wanna click on bid adjustments and it'll take you to a page that looks like this. Now, this is one of my campaigns and actually very similar to the uh, the example I just gave you. What we can see is that uh, the top of search is performing really well with a 36% ACoS, rest of search has a 93% ACoS and product pages is performing even worse than rest of search with a 112% ACoS. So let's say in this example, our target ACoS was 35%. We could say top of search is basically at target. These two are way above target. So what we need to do is we need to bring down the bid on these specific placements to actually bring down the ACoS on those specific placements. So what you can see here is that you have something called bid adjustments. And what you can do here is you can actually add a percentage bid adjustment. So to adjust the bid specifically on these placements. Now, the problem here is that to reduce the bid on rest of search and product pages, we would basically need to add a negative bid adjustment. We'd wanna bring down the bids by maybe 50% or so on those two placements. The problem is Amazon doesn't allow you to add a negative bid adjustment. You can only add a positive bid adjustment. So what's the solution? Well, there's a really simple solution and the solution here is to add a positive bid adjustment on the highly performing placements. So in this example, we might add a positive bid adjustment, let's say of 50% for top of search. And then what we wanna do is move on to our third and final form of optimization, which is a keyword bid optimization. And when we're doing keyword bid optimization, we can actually bring down the bid at keyword level, which is gonna bring down the bids across all three of these placements. And because we've increased the bid on the highly performing placement effectively that placement will stay that that bid for that placement will stay the same while the bid for the other place two placements will actually be reduced now guys if you're enjoying this video but you just want much more in-depth ppc training alongside one-to-one -one support and mentorship directly from myself then make sure to check out my full training program link will be in the description book a call with me and we can see if we'd be a good fit for you and really what you're looking for because inside our training program we have over three whole modules just focusing on ppc with hours of detailed PPC setup and optimization training. And like I said, it also comes with mentorship where I can actually help you with your PPC campaign. So if that interests you, make sure to book a call with me and we can see if we're a good fit. Okay guys, so at this point we've done the more granular work, right? We've actually optimized the more granular things that contribute to the keywords overall ACoS. Now that we've done that, the kind of third and final step is to do keyword bid optimization to actually optimize the bids at the higher level of each of the keywords. So you may be asking if we've optimized search terms and placements, why do we also need to optimize bid keywords? Well, what you might find is that even though you remove the poorly performing search terms, that keyword then might ta start targeting other poorly performing search terms. Also remember we've changed, we've increased, we've added a bid adjustment for a specific placement. So to actually make sure that that doesn't increase the ACoS for those specific keywords, we then need to also bring down the bid specifically on those keywords at keyword level. So how do you actually go about doing this? Well, what you wanna do is click into the campaign, then you wanna click into the ad group. Then once you're in the ad group, this time instead of clicking search terms, you wanna click targeting. So targeting will show you all the keywords you're targeting and then search terms will actually show you all of the search terms that those keywords have targeted. So this time we're gonna click on targeting and then you wanna add in pretty much the exact filters that we use when we're doing search term optimization. So I've selected um, orders of two or over and an ACoS this time of anything above our target. So before we did anything which was 50% above our target, this time we wanna do anything that's actually above our target. Um, and then what you wanna do is you wanna sort these by ACoS to have a look at the worst offenders. And then essentially all you wanna do is just reduce the bid to try and get ACoS down to your target ACoS. So in this example, um, the worst offender here is a keyword that has a 60% ACoS. So if our target is a 30% ACoS, we essentially need to half the bid, reduce the bid by 50% to get this down to the target ACoS. Now, the reason why I wouldn't be that aggressive with it is because what you might find also, like I said, is that you're going to be doing multiple rounds of optimization. So again, if it's just one search term that's performing badly, you probably want to wait until the next round of search term optimization, which is actually going to bring this ACoS down a little bit. So you want to have a slightly lighter touch with this. So in this example, I would probably reduce the bid 
uh, probably by about 30%. So I'd probably take this uh, one pound uh, 25 bid and I would probably change that to something like 90p for example. Then you wanna go through these one by one and actually just reduce the bid on each of these one by one manually. Now another really important thing to mention is that you'll be able to see the orders here. And like I said earlier, the higher number of orders the keyword has, the more reliable the data is. So, you know, if this has a 60% ACOS, but only two orders, I might want to have a slightly lighter touch with how much I reduce the bid because I can't really trust the data as much. Whereas an example like this, where, you know, for instance, this keyword has a 50% ACOS, 13 orders, I can be really confident that the bid is just way too high for this keyword. Um, so I can be more confident about reducing this more to try and get this down to target ACOS. So the higher number of clicks, the higher number of sales, the more data there is, the more reliable that data is. Now it's really important to understand that when you're doing keyword bid optimization, you're not removing the poorly performing keywords. Instead, you're just reducing the bid. Now the reason why you don't remove the poorly, poorly, poorly performing keywords is because like I said earlier, yeah, those keywords are going to be targeting lots of different search terms. And if the keyword is poorly performing, it's probably just that some of the search terms are poorly performing, or one of the placements is poorly performing for that keyword. So by actually not removing it, you're going to actually be able to reduce the ACOS on that keyword just by using these three optimization techniques. And what you'll find is that over time, that keyword probably starts to perform quite well for you in your campaign. So the last thing that I want to talk about, which is going to bring this video to a nice close is timeline. So when you're thinking about what kind of of timeline you should have when doing these optimization techniques, really what you wanna be doing is you always wanna be doing search term optimization and placement optimization first before you do your keyword optimization. And what's also important to understand is that each of these optimization strategies and techniques is gonna have an impact on the other one. So by doing search term optimization, you are gonna affect the ACOS across your placements. You're also gonna affect the ACOS on your keywords. So you really wanna separate out these, um, these optimization strategies by one to two weeks. So you can do search term optimization, then wait one to two weeks and then do placement optimization. And then two weeks later, do keyword bid optimization. And that allows enough time for those changes you made in the previous optimization kind of round have effect on the thing that you're gonna be optimizing in the next round of optimizations. So you can do one week between them. If you have a really high demand product that's getting a lot of clicks and a lot of data, if your product is lower demand and has less clicks and data, you might have to do it every two weeks or even every month if it's a really low demand product because you just can't do this unless you have enough data to actually be able to make decisions on. So guys, as always, I hope you found the video helpful. Hopefully this actually reduces the ACOS in your campaigns. I'm confident it will if you put into place all these things I've just talked about. But yeah, if you found the video helpful, give it a like and let me know in the comments below. Consider subscribing and I will see you in the next one.